You know what's funny? I was just getting on, getting everything set up to get on here, and I could not get my phone connected. So I restart the computer. That didn't work. I restart the phone. That didn't work. <laughs> so I'm messing around with it. Why is that funny? Because those are the type of things that happen in life. I mean, if I resist it at all, my level of enjoyment is lower. And I don't want that. I don't want that. This should happen the way that it happened because all of the other things prior to it fell into place. It's just enjoy the process, right? So as I restart my computer, I'm like, it's going to be funny if that's not even the problem and it's my phone, then I got to wait for my phone. Why is that funny? Because those are typically things that maybe would have gotten under my skin before. But now it's just comical. What else is funny but cool? So when I got out of Super Coach Academy in June 2020, man, I was just thought I just saw it all. Not in an arrogant way, maybe in an arrogant way. Probably more definitely more in an arrogant way than it seems now. We had to do these practice coaching sessions and I was like, Jen, my wife, you know, hey, will you let me do a practice coaching session? She said, No, no. And I said, what? Why? Why wouldn't you let me do it? She's like, I'm just not comfortable with that. And I, I didn't really see why until now. Like I wasn't, I wasn't at a place of pure acceptance, unconditional love, just seeing that the way that the, the things that she struggles with are because of the way things look to her. And that's it simply to me. It was like, Oh, why is, you know, maybe not back then, but why is that a problem? Like, just get over it. It's not a big deal. I did used to say that way back. But after Super Coach, it was more of a, you know, it's your thoughts that, that are making you feel this way, right? At this point, you know, that seems obvious. But I said, hey, would you want to do a couple podcast episodes with me? And she said, yeah, I wouldn't. And I said, damn, you would? She said, yeah. Which is interesting because she didn't want me to coach her before even a practice session she didn't she was used to our whole marriage me coaching her when she didn't even ask to be coached so that's kind of a big deal you know we, we hang out on the couch you know we're watching tv but we're just kind of talking about life a lot of the stuff that we're talking about now we talk about together i do all the studying i bounce everything every pretty much everything off of her multiple times just because we have these conversations, she's, she's willing to listen to all my stuff. And then it's kind of like, she's a sanity check for me, or she kind of pushes back on these ideas. She's like, I don't think, I don't know if that's the case. So it allows me to look at it from her perspective, look at it from your perspective, from everybody's perspective, right? I want to get multiple perspectives because when people say, no, it's not my thoughts about it. It is the fact that I lost my job. I want to understand where they're coming from. I want to understand why. And I want to see that um, if this is a common misconception or a common tripping point, then obviously we need to look at it in a different way, right? Because the way it's commonly explained, it's not that easy to understand. So a lot of this stuff, like let's let's say Christianity, you know, a lot of us are familiar with that. Um Buddhism, all these different, all these different ideas and philosophies and religion and stuff like, you know, you pick up these books and you're like, what the hell are they talking about? Like, why can't just somebody explain these things clearly with, with relatable examples? And that's what I want to do. And I'm kind of excited because, you know, I'm putting myself out there. If I see that the way things look to me are just a product that everything that has happened to me, all of my experiences. What am I defending? Yeah, I might say some ignorant stuff. I'm going to say some ignorant stuff. Anybody on a microphone is going to say some ignorant stuff because we're human. We have things that we haven't realized yet. So I'm excited to kind of put my life online, put my life in the public get feedback, hear criticism. How do I handle criticism? And just kind of like go, go through my life 
and have these awakening moments and share them with you guys here. Cause I think that's going to be uh, I think that's going to be pretty cool for a lot of people to see, cause they're going to struggle with a lot of these same things and they're going to see how I handle these things, which could um, spark some insights for them and they can see some things fresh in their lives. So, Oh man, what an exciting journey this is going to be.